What's going on guys? Welcome back and today we are going to be working on a enclosure for a juvenile box turtle. Now this is super easy and super cheap to make. You don't need a lot of fancy stuff and it is a very good enclosure until the box turtle gets to a decent size. So what you want to start out with is just these concrete mixing tubs. Yeah, that's right, a concrete mixing tub. They're just these black plastic tubs. They've got them in two sizes. This is the bigger size. I believe it only costs $8 and it's plenty of space for the box turtle. Um, so you can pick those up at Lowe's, Home Depot, pretty much any hardware store. They should have these over in the lumber section. So grab one of those. I recommend the big one because obviously it'll last you a lot longer. Uh, they can stay in it longer before they need to be moved to a bigger enclosure. Um, so once you've got your tub, then you're going to want your substrate. So what I use for substrate is just uh, organic garden soil. Make sure it's organic. You don't want it to have any kind of additives or anything like that. And then I also add what's called black cow composted manure. Now that sounds gross when I say manure, but it, it doesn't smell at all. It's been composted and it's a really good, rich, fine soil. Um, and it really allows them to burrow in. Um, so you're going to mix those two together about half and half uh, and just add those in here. The black cow also holds moisture a lot better than the garden soil. Now box turtles are mostly terrestrial. Now, they do uh, like to spend time at the water and at the water's edge, but they are mostly terrestrial. That's where you'll usually find them. Um, the one I've got, I'll show you in a second, is a rescue. Somebody got him, and again, like most of my turtles and tortoises, they couldn't take care of him anymore. They thought he was cute, uh, but then they decided it was more work than they wanted. So once you've got your soil mixed up and just about maybe two, three inches in here, um, just depending on the size of your box turtle, just make sure they can't climb over. Um, once you've got that in, then you're going to want to come up with some kind of hide. Now I've got this at Petco or PetSmart, I don't remember, I've had, I have a whole bucket of stuff, but it's just a half wooden log. It's real natural looking, but it's plenty of room for him to go under. Now what's going to make that different is you want to take some sphagnum moss or orchid moss like this. Again, you can pick it up at Petco or PetSmart, or I, like the, I got this orchid moss at Lowe's. Um, and you're going to want to put that under where you're going to put the hide. Now this will retain humidity really well, and so if you're not going to have a huge water area, you really want an area for them to go that they can really get that humidity. Um, and so you're going to put that a good mat, a mount there so that when they go under, under there, they have a nice moist area. Now they don't have to use this hide. There will be other options. A lot of times they'll just bury themselves, but they'll know to go in there if they need that humidity. Now once you've got that sphagnum moss, you want to rinse it down really good. And you really want to keep this area moist. Um, and that's the whole point of having this in here. If it's not, if it's just dry, there's no difference between this and the dirt. So make sure you guys every so often are checking on that. It holds water really well, especially when it's under something, but you are every probably two or three days, you are gonna need to re-soak it. Um, but just give it a really good rinse um, so that it's really hydrated and it's just really good for growth of juvenile turtles and tortoises um, to have a nice humid hide area. Uh, they don't have to go there, but they will. So then I'm just going to take that, set it right over there, and that'll give him a place to hide and also get that humidity. Now I picked up a few plants. Um, I picked them up from Lowe's. I do caution you guys. I've been doing this for, I don't know, five years. Never had a problem with using the tropical plants um, from Lowe's in my vivariums with my frogs, especially my reptiles and stuff. But here is a word of warning. In certain areas, they can possibly use pesticides. Uh, I know most of the farms in the East Coast from Co Costa Farms or Exotic Angels don't, but just be cautious when you use those. Um, you can also rinse them off really well if you want or leave them for a few months growing and then the pesticides will slowly go out. Um, it's not as huge of a deal with reptiles as it is amphibians because they're a lot more tolerant, but you still don't want pesticides. So I've just got these on the markdown section because they're cheap. Um, this is just a fern. It's a, it's a little sickly, but it'll be good. He'll probably mow through it and dig under him anyways, but it should come back just fine. And then, in, and this is native to the area. It's just a fern. This isn't, this is a, um, Sigonium podophyllum, um, but they are good plants. I've got them in the 75 gallon. Um, again, it was a dollar. It just gives him some green and some enrichment in the enclosure. I don't expect them to thrive and grow, um, too, too much, but they, they should do good. So we're just going to take these out of the pot and pick a spot for them. Maybe. The new plants have a grow system where they have strings running through them. So 
So once you've got that out, just pick anywhere that you like. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of put this one over here in this corner, um, close to the lights of the vivarium. I'm just gonna bury that. Again, just more for enrichment. There's no huge benefit for him to have plants, um, but it'll give him something to dig through or anything like that. He might eat them, uh, but I know both these are safe, so he should be fine. Um, they're non-toxic. Um, just be wary when you're using plants. There's plenty of lists online uh, on what is safe and what is not, so just keep, keep that in mind uh, when you are choosing your plants. A good rule of thumb I like to do is I'll go to Josh's Frog, and a lot of these plants that you find at your hardware store in the tropical section, they sell on there. So if you find it there in a category that's safe for, say, frogs or turtles, then obviously you know that it's going to be safe. So now that you've got your plants and your hide, the next thing obviously is going to be a water area. So they do like a lot of water. So you can use bigger dishes. Now my guy is really small. So right now I'm just using this smaller dish, um, easy for him to get in and out of. When he does get bigger, he will be moved outside, and I'm going to give them a really big water area. I hope to have some more rescued box turtles. I know that's a big thing, um, is to find them rescued. So I'm just burying that in so it's ground level. Make it easier for him to get in and out. Um, there are steps for him to get out, and this is small enough he can climb out. So you've got your hide, you've got your plants, you've got your water dish. Um, the next thing is just going to be adding some leaves. Now box turtles... Um, love to hide under leaves. So I've got these magnolia leaves. Magnolia leaves are great for vivariums, terrariums, anything like that, as long as you know they've been collected from an area without pesticides. So I've got a whole stack right here. I'm basically, most areas that are not um, being used for something else, I'm gonna put leaves and they will, that's their natural camouflage. That's what they do in the wild is they hide under leaves. So this will make him feel really secure. Um, so I'm gonna leave the area near the water dish um, open because that's also where I'm going to feed him. Now box turtles can have a variety of diet. They um, are omnivores, um, so they obviously they eat insect. Well, in, yeah, insectivores and herbivores. So you can technically consider that an omnivore. Um, so I feed them crickets and worms, um, but then they can also get some fruits and vegetables. Um, there's tons of resources on Taline for box turtles on what they love to eat. So a varied diet is the best thing you can do for them. Um, but my little guy loves earthworms. Um, he loves to chase around crickets. Uh, if you've never seen a baby box turtle chase around crickets, uh, it'll definitely put a smile on your face. I'll try and get a video of that here and post it up on Instagram. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, Carolina Vivariums, and also on Facebook. I'm posting a lot more there too. All right, so we've got a leaf cover for hide. We've got a sh um, hide water plant so we're pretty good now the two other things you need um, which i've got them set aside is you need uvb uh, which is a special bowl it's a special type of uv ray from the sun that don't come off of natural lights like in the living room or on your thing so you need a special uvb bulb for reptiles um, so i'm going to have a fixture that will sit over here uh, it'll be a t5 fixture and it'll have a uvb and that's really vital for them for growing and then also i'm going to create a basking spot right here um, I'll probably get a slate tile, but right now this is just dirt is fine. He really won't use it too, too much, um, but I'm going to put a small, small heat bulb, uh, ceramic heat emitter right here hanging up so that he can um, choose to bask if he wants to. It is winter time, and although the animal room is typically at 70 to 75, um, they are pretty good about sensing that it's winter, and a lot of reptiles will go into what's called brumation, which is the reptile form of hibernation. Um, so they will stop eating, stop um, drinking, they'll, they'll really stop moving. Box turtles will usually bury underground for the whole winter almost until it's summer and they come back out. So he won't go into a complete brumation, but they can go into partial brumation. So he's really not going to be active for the next few months. But I really wanted to give him an upgrade. Uh, he was in a smaller tub um, and he didn't have certain things that he would really need. So this is pretty much all you need for your box turtle clothes. Now once you've got everything in here, you really want to soak it down. You can see how dry this soil is. Um, so you really want to add a lot of water. Like I said, humidity is super important um, for these animals. Um, so I, con I spray this down usually every day. Um, and then um, sometimes about once a week, I will actually soak the soil on one half so it, it gets a lot of water in there. Um, and then now that you have plants in here, you really want to make sure that they are watered if you want them to keep growing. Otherwise, they're just going to die. 
But this fern should pick back up, and this uh, Zagonium Podophyllum should be really good. Um, it's still growing really well. So yeah, make sure you guys give it a good soak down and fill up your water dish. Now this is a shallow water dish, so it will run out of water pretty quickly with the evaporation. The humidity in my animal room is pretty high, but if it's not high, your water evaporation is gonna be really quick. So just make sure you're filling it up every day um, just to give them that source of water. They'll love to soak in it and bask in it. Um, and you can actually see them drinking in it sometimes. But that is really it for temperature wise. As long as you've got that basking spot, you're usually fine at normal household temperatures inside. Um, don't let it get too, too hot. If it's a smaller enclosure that's not open, you have to be careful with the basking spot because it can eat the whole, heat the whole enclosure. Um, like I said, feeding just a variety of diets. Humidity, like I said, as long as they have a really good humid spot and you keep this misted down, they'll be fine. They are terrestrial, but like I said, they love to hang out right at that water's edge. Um, so I got all the way to the end of the video and I realized I never actually showed you guys me putting the box turtle in um, So here is my little guy. He is still super young um, And the last person that had him didn't provide too much care so his growth has been really slow um, But you can see he's really tiny uh, That's why this tub is more than enough set up for him um, So I'm gonna put him in here. He hasn't had this human hide before so I'm hoping he just crawls right in Let's see um, but he's got a lot of personality. He loves to chase crickets around. Um, but yeah, there you go. There's your juvenile box turtle enclosure. Now let's get back to the other part of the video. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Box turtle care is super easy. They're really rewarding pets. They've got so much personality. Uh, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the future videos. And as this guy grows up, he's going to go into a big enclosure outside. Um, if you watched my last video, you saw what I'm building outside. And he's going to get his own section in that. Um, but as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I will see you guys next week.